BreakTimer's interaction style lets you control how RSI Guard lets you know it's time to take a break. You'll get a chance to set this up during the initial setup wizard shown here. If you choose the first option, pop-up mode, then when the break timer model determines you need a break, it will wait until you have been idle for a few seconds before popping up the break window. By waiting for your pause in typing and mousing, the break window is less likely to interrupt you in the middle of a task. If you choose the second option, polite mode, then at break time you will be presented with the break needed button. The break will only start once you click begin break. That means the break reminder won't interrupt your work. But if you ignore the break needed button, it means you might not get breaks when you need them. If you choose the third option, polite mode with timeout, then you will also be presented with the break needed button. Again, you can start the break by clicking begin break. But if you ignore the button for longer than the timeout, the break will pop up anyway. As you learn what works best for you, you should visit the settings to fine tune this feature. From the main RSI Guard window, click Tools and select Settings. Select the Break Timer tab and click on Adjust Settings. Next, select the Interaction Style tab. If you use the pop-up mode, you can select how long you need to be idle before the break window appears. Four seconds is typical. Eight seconds might mean your breaks get pushed back a bit, but you can be more confident you won't be interrupted. Two seconds means your breaks will come closer to when they are needed, but there's a greater chance you will still be mid-task when the break pops up. If you use polite mode with timeout, you can specify how long you can ignore the break needed button before break timer will pop up your break anyway. One last tip, if you use polite mode, you can move the break needed button wherever on the screen is best for you. RSI Guard will remember the next time it shows the button.